Your Day Your Way programme is a pilot that we've been running for 12 months now and it's a 12 week self management programme for patients with life limiting illnesses. Um, we hope that it gives patients the opportunity to be able to live their life as well as they can with the coping strategies that we give them. There's lots of choice involved in the programme. So there are key elements. So we offer every day a chance to take part in a workshop, which is on different themes every week, uh, covering the main issues that affect people with life limited illnesses. When you come in, there's a wee sort of agenda and very much you can, if you don't want to do that, there's other things that you can go to. There's a hairdresser, relaxation therapies. We've got nurses here, which is fantastic. I would explain it as a, a day of laughter. I would describe it also as a day of um, having good times. You learn a lot. You do what you want to do when you're here. We're not going to dictate to you what you need to do and where you need to be. You do as much or as little as you feel or want to. I find it very relaxed. I find the staff are very, very good at helping. You're able to talk to other people and discuss things which other people, family members may not realise. It's given me friends, which I felt immediately friendship from both patients and staff. It's given me a feeling of belonging because people understand how I feel. What I see in over the weeks is probably, for most of them, an increased confidence, mm -hmm. uh, an increased sense of, I'll maybe give that a go. Over the past two months, I've now been able to stand and cook meals, which I never ever thought six months ago I could do. I'll just say it was a very dark place. I felt that my life was just about over. I felt I couldn't go out anymore. I felt as if I had a badge saying I'm a cancer patient so people would be afraid to talk to me. And I'd kind of lost my own identity. So coming to this has really changed my life around. It's, I'm myself again. It's about people helping themselves, actually working with other people who are going through the same problems and helping them solve their problems amongst themselves. And it's a great social atmosphere. And it's not just us telling you how to live your life. It's about people just figuring that out themselves. And you get to talk about breathing, relationships, all sorts of things that you maybe wouldn't have thought about talking about. And then you hear things from other people that they think, you know what, that's, that's similar to myself, yes. And also things, trying things new. So for some of them doing Tai Chi, some of them have not done any exercise at all. And when you're unwell, you can be very unsure about exercising. And by doing things like Tai Chi, it gives them again a sense of, I can do this. So sometimes it's the little things. And when you do have illness that's life limited, it's not good to feel as if somebody's always feeling sorry for you. And it's not like that here at all. It's about enabling you to deal with what you're going through in a kind and compassionate way. I had a disco. That might sound mad. You've got like eight people in a room having a disco. We're all sitting in a chair. Staff were up dancing. We had uh, 1970s and 80s music because that's our age range. Well, that was supposed to be the exercise class and we, just, we ended up with the Macarena and <laughs> the YMCA, which was, and I'm sure actually, the, it was like semaphore. I don't know that there was any y, YMCAs going on, but music is so powerful and actually yeah. people have mm -hmm. real emotional attachments to music and it just brought out such good stories and memories. Hey, the camaraderie between the patients um, is amazing to see because they don't know one another before they get here and by the end of the, the 12 weeks they're arranging things between themselves to meet up out with here and to continue that support to one another. We had a new a new grandchild mm -hmm. born in recent weeks and the photos get passed around and we're all part of that moment. You become part of their normality too. They make you feel normal and human and alive. They make you feel alive. It's just wonderful to be somewhere else where people are with the same, who have the same conditions or same illnesses, similar. They're in the same boat as yourselves, let's say. And to be able to just be that step away from everything and to be able again to discuss anything and everything with people. 
Yeah, definitely. When you go home, you, you do feel the benefits that you've had and you look forward to the next Thursday and you know, the days will pass quickly till you get to the next Thursday and it, it's just a wonderful experience. Thank you.